Hi, in this video I will show you how to create a random distribute point song curves node with Blender geometry nodes. Sadly, Blender doesn't come with a node like that by default, but it is really useful, for example, for generating trees. So yeah, let's get started. So first I'll add geometry nodes to my default cube, and then I add a curve object. In this tutorial I use a spiral curve, and then we add some points with the points node. And here we can increase the count. I use 20 for now. And then we set the position of these points. And for the position, we sample the position of the curve. Now to display both, I use the join geometry node. And here we can see what happens if we increase the factor. So we move the points along the curve. Right now every point is at the same position, but for example, if we use a random value, we can use a random factor for each point's position. And yeah, so that's the minimal setup and it already works. We can increase the point count. And with the min and max value, we can define on which segment of the curves the points should get distributed. Right now the setup works really well with a single curve, but there's a problem with multiple curves. So for demonstration purposes, I simply instance some lines on another line. So I create an array of line objects. And now you can see that the sample curve node only samples the first curve. And to take into account all of these curves, we can toggle all curves and this works. But right now the factor of the sample curve node is not individual for each curve. Instead, this is the sum of all of these curves and this is not the behavior I want. And we can solve this with the curve index. And here you can see that we can switch the index for each of these curves. And for this, we need the total amount of splines we have and we can get it with the domain size node. Set it to spline and the spline count outputs the total amount of curves we have. And right now, if we create a random value node and set it to integer, we can set the maximum value to the total spline count amount. And we have to keep in mind that the spline count starts at one and the index starts at zero. So we need to subtract one from it. And now if we connect it into the count index socket of the sample curve, it should work. So here we test it by setting the maximum and minimum. And you can see that the behavior is as expected. That's essentially the whole setup. Now I tidy up the node layout a little bit and I create a node group out of this. So we can reuse it later. And I create inputs for the seed, the count, the max and min value. Here I clamp the min and max value between zero and one. So I don't accidentally set it to a lower or higher value. Now there's only one thing left to do. You can see that all of our instances are oriented in the same direction. And to align it with our curve, we can use the align Euler to vector node. Then we connect the tangent output of our sample curves node to it, set it to Z and connect it to the output of our node group. You can see that all of our instances are now aligned perfectly with the curve. In addition to this, we can also create an output for our tangent and normal of the curve. That's it for this tutorial. You can see the node group in action. This is the tree generator I've made, which brought me to the idea to create this node group. If you've liked this video and want to see more tips on Blender geometry nodes in the future, you can subscribe to my channel, but you don't have to. So yeah, see you next time.